Welcome to the CPU Galaxy channel and today with a review of a very special single board computer. Yeah, why special? Well, because we have here a 486 CPU, which I actually have never heard about. We are talking now about uh, this guy here, made by Octor and it's called Maple. Yeah, this Maple Embedded System Controller chip is a highly integrated PC AT SOC or also called System on Chip combining a 100 MHz 486 CPU core with all the system control and I.O. functions in a single BGA package. Actually, I was not able to figure out which manufacturer the integrated 486 is made from or if it is also designed by Octor. Leave me a comment below if you have more information about it. Yeah, this chip supports 32-bit write-back 486 PCI-based system design with cache and DRAM controller, advanced power management controller, two 16.55.0 compatible UARTs, floppy disk controller, SPP, BPP, EPP, ECP interface, PS2 keyboard and mouse controller, and the integrated peripheral controller. Yeah, mostly used for industrial applications, we are talking here about a highly integrated chip and I'm very much looking forward to test the CPU now and challenge it a bit with some DOS applications and games. Yeah, first let's have a closer look at the single board computer and its containing parts. The model is Yuki 752 version 1.1. Yeah, over here we have our SOC with the integrated 486 CPU. This big guy here is the video controller made by HMC, HM86508. Actually, I could not find a lot of information about this video chip in the internet, only that it's mostly used for industrial applications. Over here we have our PC104 uh, bus connector to be able to extend this SPC with different kind of modules for controlling uh, machines or external devices. The, here we have the IDE connector, over here a 44 pin LCD display connector, here we have the floppy drive connector and the parallel board. On the side here we have two 72 pin RAM slots and on the other side here a COM board connector. In the middle of the PCB we can see an empty socket, this means this single board computer is supporting disk on chip. Yeah, this con chip is just a, a flash drive which you can put into the socket and it gets directly supported from the BIOS and you can access to this flash drive like a normal hard disk drive. In this case I will use this 48 megabyte uh, flash drive to put there uh, our DOS and the test benchmark programs which I'm going to use to test this single board computer later on. What else do we have here? On the side we have the keyboard connector, another COM port, this is also supporting a PS2 mouse and here our VGA connector. On the back side we have here our 1 megabyte of video memory. Here we have also our ISA bus uh, connector, so usually you can supply this uh, single board computer through the through the ISA bus with all needed voltages or in this case also you have the possibility to supply it on this connector here. Yeah, for our setup I will use this uh, ISA backplate. It has an AT power connector to supply the SPC and also several ISA slots which I could use for instance to add a sound card. We can now switch on our setup here. The 48 MB flash drive I'm using here has already all needed software and DOS pre-installed, so I hope it would boot straight away. And it's posting immediately with American Mega Trends BIOS and also booting straight ahead from our flash drive. We can see here Maple 486DX4 CPU with a clock of 100 MHz and our 16 MB of memory. Yeah, first let's check Norton SysInfo and it shows up here with a Cyrix 486 and also 100 MHz. We get here a speed index of 125. Yeah, at SpeedSys it's showing up also a Cyrix uh, DX4 CPU but with a wrong clock of 34 MHz. We don't have any CPU ID, uh, ID 
and it's also showing here that the floating point unit is present. Yeah, very interesting. Um, at the memory benchmark, we can see we have just a 8 kilobyte of level 1 cache available and no level 2 cache. The level 1 cache uh, throughput is uh, 51 megabytes and the memory throughput we can see here is 37 megabytes. Here we get a CPU score of 35.86, which is in the range of a DX400 CPU. Yeah, check it comes up with very good results with integer and floating point calculations, which are in between of a DX266 and a DX400. CPU ID shows also a Sarix CPU with 100 MHz and a frontside bus of 33 MHz. To check again, max speed shows here a frequency of 100 MHz too. Yeah, it's time to go on with some graphic benchmarks. With PC player at 320 to 200, we can just see here a frame rate of 12, which is not that good, and I would expect a little bit more of a DX400. Also, 3D band shows up only with 31.6 frames per second. Yeah, for Doom, we cannot expect much here then, and it's almost a slideshow. So, um, of course, it seems that this uh, single board computer is not a build for gaming, of course, it's for industri industrial applications. And at Doom, we will get at the end just a frame rate um, of about 17 frames. Yeah, at uh, Quake we have also a real slideshow with 7.6 frames per second. Yeah, this bad performance, I think it's because of the missing level 2 cache and that not good video chip. Yeah, at the end, this single board computer is of course usable for easier games like Prince of Persia, Wolfenstein 3D and other older stuff which is not so sophisticating. At the end we have here a common industrial SPC with a not so common and interesting CPU, which was struggling today performing on games instead of controlling machines, which is at the end its purpose. I had definitely fun to bring this computer back to life. I hope you liked the video and if so, please subscribe below and don't forget to activate the notification bell. I'm also always interested on any comments from you. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.